Let's uh, sum this all up with our favorite bets for the Champions League match week two coming your way Tuesday and Wednesday. Anthony, you go first. Manchester City Dortmund under three and a half goals. Uh, I can't get to this number with Dortmund's making significant improvements in the midfield with Oshan and the defense with Schlotterbeck and Sula. Uh, the market has not quite adjusted to the downgrade in their attack with Holland being gone. Uh, they're not built in a way to expose City like they were in the past. They don't really have a strong identity right now. And uh, even the City attack is running really well. And I think Dortmund's improved defense can hang around in this match. Just think this should be closer to three and a quarter. So I'm going to take three and a half uh, when I get the opportunity here. For me, RB Leipzig plus 475 on the road against Real Madrid. This is all about buying low and selling high. Real Madrid are the only team in Europe's big five leagues to be unblemished to start the season. But their schedule has been a cakewalk. Uh, thus far, and even though they're returning to the Santiago Bernabeu off of an impressive 3-0 win against Celtic, they did show that they teetered a little bit in that first half, and Celtic could have gone up 1-0 uh, had they had a little bit more luck. So while I think Real Madrid are the better team, we're getting a new manager bounce from Leipzig, who I think are going to start trending up after a pedestrian start in the Bundesliga, and I like the number here. Buy low, sell high. RB Leipzig, BJ Cunningham. I like Inter, minus one and a half on the road at Victoria Pleasant at plus 110. This Victoria Pleasant team is probably the worst in the entire competition. They were really bad against Barcelona, getting pasted 5-1. Barcelona had 50 touches in their penalty area. They controlled 75% possession. And I mean, this Victoria Pleasant team only has a plus 0.34 expected goal differential in the Czech League. Like that's what makes you think they're going to be good in this competition and Inter, Yes, they did lose to Bayern Munich, but Inter is the type of team that just absolutely pastes lesser competition. If you go back to the Champions League last year in the four matches against Shakhtar and Sheriff, they outcreated them a combined 9.3 expected goals to 2.6. If you go back to the start of last season in Serie A against the bottom half of the table, 23 matches, they have a plus 42.4 expected goal differential. That's plus 1.85 XG differential per 90 minutes. So I have entered projected uh, spread at minus 1.83. So if you give me plus 110 at minus 1.5, I got to take it. 